Hello everyone, welcome to this press any key, uh, is this a full podcast? This is a full podcast, uh, right? Or is this going, sp- going into episode. something in there? Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to try and do these little things to cover uh, episodes of She-Hulk, which the first one dropped today, and um, I just got finished watching it, so Berg, you've had longer to sit with your thoughts, so why don't you go ahead and just give us a start? Sure. Where do you want, like, just, like, overall? Go ahead, just non-spoilers. Yeah, I guess overall, where are you at? Yeah, I mean, so it's an interesting take. It's kind of, I don't know how this is going to go, and I'm not optimistic about it based off episode one. It's really interesting in that it's doing it. They're really taking, like, a quirky approach because I think they are trying to do, you know what it feels like? It feels like where we had Miss Marvel was for children. This is the same atmosphere, but for adults. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's trying to approach things in a similar kind of quirky way. Got some fun jokes. She does a lot of like camera aside stuff, like flea bag kind of thing, where like fourth wall yeah, breaking, like fourth Deadpool, wall breaking, you know, like Deadpool which, type shit. I don't know how I feel well, okay, about that. So the fourth wall breaking is comic book accurate. So, like, I will give it points for that. And, like, I get the whole tone and style that they're going for, but I'm just not interested in this type of show. Um, that being said, I think objectively, like the quality of it isn't awful. It like had a it. I th- they used the Hulk. I think That's, in a this smart is one of my way. <laughs> they used him smartly. You know what I mean? Which is, yeah. which is nice because it's like you finally get to see the Hulk not attached to the Avengers, but it was also like some like sentimental stuff going on in his scenes too. That like. You get the throwback. I guess, I guess my point is like I'm cool with the the Hulk lore. You know what I mean? Like I'm there for the Hulk. I'm lore. good. I'm good with the Hulk lore. I like where we go into like yeah. kind of what he was doing in between, like kind of things going on with that. What I don't like about like the fourth wall breaking is that this is set directly in the Avengers universe with the Hulk. So now you've established mm-hmm. fourth wall breaking in that universe, which kind of feels to me very like protected in a way like i mean deadpool is gonna come in and just ruin that shit in a few years anyway so but yeah that's fair like I ruin ruin as deadpool. in like the same thing like yeah, he's gonna break, break the down, fourth though. wall yeah yeah so that's i didn't know that was like the canon in the comic book so that justifies it a little bit for me um i was still taken aback because i don't think that any other marvel property has done that right besides for deadpool well, yeah, no, I'm ex- excluding Deadpool. Excluding Deadpool? No, I don't think so. Or none that I can yeah. think of. Or if they have, it's been very rare. Um, I mean, so let's talk about the CG. Because that was very... There's a hot button uh, issue when this, this came very, out. Uh, uh, it, first of all, Hulk, look, Hulk looks fine. Like, Bruce Banner looks fine. That's because they literally she looks just fine took too. the Hulk. They, I swear to God, dude, there, there are these, like... There are these fucking chuds out there that will like of course it's the first trailer. The CGI is not done. And all these yeah. VFX artists do is complain about how they work under shitty conditions and how like their work is always compromised because Marvel is just like fucking dime turning on like what they want to happen in their movies. So like And you shut know the how fuck they had to up. Like, just, just shut right, up. They had to clearly crank out a trailer before obviously everything was finished and like they're going back and refining things like it's not gonna look good even then that might only have been like the 10th draft of that scene you know what i mean like (laughs) with still like fucking 30 hours of rendering to go like shut up you fucking assholes (laughs) on twitter you fucking idiots if you knew anything if you knew anything about art other than just tweeting about it like you'd have some fucking perspective you goddamn inbreds anyway um I do think I, think, I really like. No, go on, go on. I was going to say, I think it was hysterical that you see the Hulk and the full glory of his CGI, which clearly they just took all of the assets from all of the multi million dollar events. He is, like, he is a, a, a project that was completed years ago. They had to, yeah, they, just, they pulled him they out of some up, project file. Right. Yeah. And then, like, you have like a back and forth between the two, and it looks just like. It looks like a, a like a game original and then remastered. Yeah, like, and like you're kind of we're different. also used to seeing him too. So it's not like it's weird for us to be like, hmm, Hulk looks kind of milky right now. But like, um 
<laughs> she looked fine as far as CG. Yeah, the whole look, show looked, looked fine. fine. Nothing looked cheap. Like, listen, you want to go complain about CG? Go to a fucking sci-fi original movie or television show and complain about that CG. Like, right? Because there's no excuse for that. This we got is, money. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking. This is incredible. Like ho- Hollywood A grade stuff. Um. Mm-hmm. So the other thing is. What do you think of the main actress? What's her name? Uh, Tatiana, I think. <laughs> it's the girl from. Um, Listen, I sw- like, this is the worst because I literally yeah. finished watching it, turned around, and got on this to record. From, like, or, yeah, it's yeah. Tatiana Maslani, I think is yeah. how you pronounce her name. She was the uh, star in Orphan Black. I didn't watch that show, but she's good in this. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't have any issues with her performance. It's just like. I don't want to be like it's not special. <laughs> you know what I mean? But nothing has blown me away yet. And maybe she hasn't had the chance yet to prove that. It's only the first episode. But she's good so far. I laughed. She did really I well. I was invested. I think, yeah. I, I think like, you know, for what it is, like, so I'm, I'm going to say like the first episode is competent. It is very competent. It's confident. Yeah. Like that's like, I'm not going to be like coming out of it like this is awesome. I think it's really too quirky and I think they're going to lean into like it. And it's, I think it's going to almost be kind of cringy in some ways, dude, like in the next few episodes, I just, I'm cynical about it too, because like we've seen these six episode Marvel shows, they're shifting, you know, Andor is going to be 12 episodes. Um, Daredevil is going to be 18, like shit right. going forward is going to be a lot longer or if it's not longer, it's certainly going to be denser. You know what I mean? They're going to be like hour long episodes. Yeah, they're going to be meaty. So, you know, this this is still created in that era of like six episodes. Let's tell a story. And they were smart, though. They only gave us one. I'm like, mm, yeah. they're padding this didn't one give out. Us half of the season. They didn't give yeah, us the full half out. of the season to start. Yeah, yeah. I knew. So um, um, I can go into I can go into a couple other things that I I found were like that they did well. I like that. Um it's an, it's cool to me how they're constantly like adapting different cultures, different perspectives, different takes on everything. And we and needed a lawyer a, story badly, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> More in the sense of they talk about like she talks about like uh, kind of like you know a struggle as a woman just in general, and like it's played in very organically as to like why she is able to, you know, have a little bit more of controlled rage. Versus the Hulk, which I think is kind of funny. Like it's 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 applicable. It touches on things in a way that, of course, the sweaties are going to have a field day about. Oh, they already but, have. Oh, Dude, for sure. Yeah. Why? Why am I seeing YouTube videos about how this is like SJW propaganda before it's even come out? Like, did they? Dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why can't we I at know. least watch it before we go into pearl clutching fake outrage? You know, that's where I'm at. Like. <laughs> So, and like the main thing that this is about in here is she talks about, she's like, I have to control my anger all the time. She's like, if I get cat called in the street, someone mansplains something to me, you know, she's like, I, I can't flip out. Otherwise I'll be seen as too emotional or, you know, she's like, honestly, I could physically just be murdered. Yeah. And how did they think men were going to take this? Jesus. I mean, did they ever think about anyone else than themselves? <laughs> no, I thought it was good that they're that they're they're shedding light on this. And I really enjoyed the fact that there was kind of like this smug realness in the sense of like, you know, there's one scene about controlling your anger, which is a big theme in in Hulk comic books, movies. It's the whole crux of his character. Yeah. Um and there's a scene where she explains how or a character explains how she can, how they can do whatever they need to do to get through the end of the scene. And then because she's, oh my God, I'm so bad at this. And because they're talking about it, it actually gets them angry and they can't control their, and uh, yeah. that, it, what's it called? And then someone else is like, see, I told you, but it, like I said, the smug realness of it is like, no, that's just what she feels every day that she buries down inside of her because right. of the we, environment we get, she lives in. We get like the fun little that's my secret. I'm always angry. Yeah, kind of exactly. Thing. Like it's a cool little, you it's know, a they nice don't twist on it. Yeah. on it. Yeah. No. And um, the, but the one thing I did say was that the dialogue was very, you know, it was very on the nose, which I get, 
you know, they got to get that out and it was not going to be easy. But I think the best way they could have about, gone about it was this way, especially with that scene. You know what I mean? Specifically. Yeah. I think I, I agree with you. I think it was kind of like, I'm going to shovel this in right here to make this point a great point to be made. But yeah. it's like, the episode didn't have to be like what it was like a half hour like it was short right <laughs> it was 38 minutes and 30 yeah. of those minutes were the show eight of them were yeah, the and eight minutes were the credit yeah. and then like 15 seconds of the post credits yeah. which we'll get to but yeah like i mean it didn't have it felt to me like this episode was taken out of like a slow part of act two of a movie yeah like they just picked this up where it's kind of like you know the characters step away from a problem or something they're taking a minute to recoup and re figure things out. And like, that's what it felt like. It was. Yeah. I, I, so let's just move into spoilers. Now, if you're to stop listening right here and you're to decide, I'm going to check that. I, I would give this like a fucking not, I'd give this like a six out of 10. Yeah. I was going to say like two and a half out of five. So, <laughs> okay. Split the difference. So split the difference. yeah. Call it five. Out Call of it 10. five out of 10. Yeah. I think it's a great honest attempt and I think for what it is is what episode one it's really I'm just, good like I said I can't help but feel cynical because this was still in that area era of like shit's either going to go right off the rails or it's going to get good in the last three you know what I mean 100%. and we have we have way more of just shit flying off the fucking rails than like getting good in the last three almost it's like just miss Marvel was that. So yeah, they, all right, they let's... used up they used up all their good like <laughs> credentials <laughs> all with their good Marvel, Juju, Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So let's just go straight so let's go straight in spoilers now. Um yeah. and then we'll do post credit scene. So the scene let's just talk about the scene where she's talking about being a woman. Why couldn't they just include a mon like just her walking to the office in the morning getting cat called? Her like picking up the paper, getting mansplained about something. You could have done. You could have shown all of those things instead of just telling me them. That's what I feel is the fallacy in the storytelling because it doesn't set up the environment or the world that she's in. It's more of just telling and not showing. And this is a visual medium. So I think that would have done more to help the storytelling, not so much the story itself, because that's pretty solid. But the storytelling would have been better than just like I'm a woman and men are assholes. And now I'm on this tropical island with my Hulk cousin figuring out how to not be angry. You know what I mean? Right. Like I, I, I would have liked to have seen disintegrate. the buildup of that, you know, especially with a character who is self-aware fourth wall breaking. You might you I almost would have expected more cutaways to things like that, because like you said, if you show it in the visual medium, it would have been so much more emotionally impactful to be like, if he's like, how are you doing this kind of thing? And then you get like a cutaway with that, a cutaway with that. And then she's kind of like, I want to see not, it not in shy. the right context. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, as like as like, a man, as men, we don't really go through that shit. And when we do, it's usually women that are definitely not attractive to us and are like, "Ooh, honey, you look, you know, oh, child, you know, shit like that. Like old ladies on the corner type of shit, like totally harmless. Not like I'm going to make a meal out of you as soon as no one's in sight. So like, right. uh, so for, I feel like it would have gone a lot farther to actually showcase that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not like cartoonishly, like the racist from Miss Marvel, but no. but in in a sense, tastefully air quotes right. cut, cut away cut away for seven seconds and show like two seconds or three seconds of each you know thing she's getting her coffee and, her. and there's some homeless guy with a jacket on he's just like hey there toots or you know like <laughs> you know something like that or like you know yeah just something so. to, to make me be like oh no one yeah. likes that and you know that's yeah that's the problem where i was like it didn't have to be like you could have made it eight more minutes <laughs> if you made it the full 38 minutes you could have included a couple things like that <laughs> if you if you actually put the gold. effort in uh, yeah we would have been golden <laughs> like that's the thing i was like you i felt like they were just like got a tight 30 yeah you know what we're gonna do i need to get these points across so i'm just gonna do them in the most like exposition giving way of a character saying them yeah so the other thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way and not sent me into an outrage, but just something I question. Why is she stronger and better than everything the Hulk does like already? You know what I mean? I think I I'm not, like, I'm not out of pocket saying that. And I don't think it's cause she's a woman and I don't think it's cause no. there's like, no, I'm just genuinely. Why she is she already? Just her- she just got her powers. This guy's been around for like, he even said it himself almost 15 years. 
and I, she yeah. ch- like come on i'm just saying i i think like i i 100 agree like she should not she should be like a little like you know doe that's just been born kind of like shaky leg walking around <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> it's like oh okay your and body i'm not just saying i'm not saying exactly and i'm not saying i don't want her to kick ass and i'm not saying no. i don't want her to be awesome and i'm not doing the whole like she's a mary sue thing because they have beaten that argument into the ground she's not right. a mary sue She's a fucking lawyer. She's already gone through trials and tribulations and strife to get to where she is. And she added on top of just being a woman in America today is already like that's We've already got that in the bag. So it's like now I kind of feel like that's that was the easy avenue. It's just like, oh, just, you know, she's already she's already good. But it's just like, no, no, not the. Right. I was willing in Star Wars because I've seen Jedi get trained for 40 fucking years, but not yeah. on this one. Like, no, nah, this is this is my this is my no, no, I no, totally agree. I think like so she's not like, like a said, Mary. She's not a Mary Sue, but she's no, also like, no, you, you're just not a Hulk already. You know, the point the point you made where it was like, yeah, she's a, like she's an accomplished lawyer and an accomplished, you know, person and individual and has strength, like strong resolve. I think she's got more like resolve and confidence, obviously, than Bruce Banner, because it's taken him all of his like life kind of combating with like you know the hulk and the different personalities and everything with that they said 10 years two decades of drama 15, or some shit years. like that like yeah, he's like, he like get ready for 15 years of like self-realization. he's like there's nobody else at the fucking wheel like <laughs> you know so i mean like i get it that like you know that's the that's the thing like mentally i agree like she can control it totally good physically where it's just like you just you know got on the bike and started going no training wheels is a little bit like Y'all are Russian shit. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's because of any particular reason involving her sex or anything. <laughs> but what I am right. saying is just like power wise, like, come on, what the fuck are we doing? Did we, did we get the Hulk doing his clap thing in any other movie? Fuck yeah, dude. That's how he put out the fire at the end of the first Hulk. And not only that, like the gamma oh, right. clap in general has just been like around. Yeah. Like that's like I a Hulk. remember if we saw it. It's like a Hulk move, yeah. yeah. Um I'm trying to think what else. Like so I I, I, I can tell you what I hated. Okay, tell me what you like, hated. 100% that fucking courtroom fight scene was some of the worst <laughs> action well, scene. I got to be honest. Scene. It's I I watched it and I was like this is meant to look like this. This is meant to be fucking corny that doesn't excuse it like that because it's still really weird and like kind of tone deaf when compared to like the rest of the show but also at the same time it's just like all right it's secrets out like the plot has started we did all we did all the setup in 38 minutes why couldn't this been why couldn't this been an hour yeah the plot started from a goddamn villain being the Kool Aid Man in a courtroom that was not exactly applicable to them. Like, exactly, just a super villain that we've never seen before and never know about just decides to break through the courtroom wall. And then who like, even hey, was that? I don't know. I literally don't know. And like, they're just like, "Hey, go, go, Hulk yourself." Yeah. And then like she doesn't. It's great, but like you, like you see her move on one side and punch, and then the like chick flies oh, back. Actually. <laughs> That's one thing I want to bring up. So I was watching the Hulk, She-Hulk versus Hulk fight, and I was like, there's no way that Disney allowed him to haul off and just punch her right in the fucking face. Because there's a couple times where she takes some shots right in his face. I was like, "There's no, I go, in no world would that yeah. happen. And the whole time I was like, go ahead, cross the line. Cross the line. And they didn't. They didn't. But, I mean, like, come on. But also it's just like, yo – I saw what Thanos did to Hulk. You know what I mean? Yeah. I get I get Hulk wouldn't Thanos his cousin. But I'm just saying, like, he would de- like right. she kicked him in the face at one point. I would have been like, all right, that's that that's punch you in the face worthy. You know what I mean? And right, I know yeah. you can take it. Like Yeah, like I know you're gonna be fine. It's just yeah, he didn't wind up and just full on like Exactly, exactly. Face. And I'm not saying they should have, I but what I realize. but what I am saying is that I was waiting for it and it didn't happen. <laughs> Every yeah, time that's his- you ever yeah yeah dude you watch watch the marvel superhero marvel super i sound i say that like i don't have the fucking avengers tattoo watch the mcu watch any disney with like any action that has women in it they i think maybe black widow is taking a, a few on the chin but yeah. i don't remember most of them like just like straight up like a punch right to the face i don't think it's happened 
Right. I could be, be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I feel like yeah, it's not as overt as like it's not it's not abuse yeah. in that way. Yeah, okay. Like exactly. Yeah. Like I mean, I'm not advocating for it, but I'm just saying like no. if you pay attention, it's not there. You're like Disney, I know you're not going to do it. I know what you're up to. <laughs> so, aside from the violence uh that is lacking, story elements, you know, the pond is wide but Boy, is it shallow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, way to... <laughs> like, I feel like it's a big environment. And it's like I'm a big attorney in this big f- and like I'm going to go win this case. But I'm just a Hulk lady. And that's you know what I mean? Like, that's that's it. That's where we're at. Maybe it'll get deeper yeah. as we go along. I hope so. Um, I'm, I'm anticipating it to basically be like now that she's out as the Hulk or she Hulk. People are going to both like love and respect her at her law firm. Yeah. And there's going to be problems with that. And then it's just kind of going to be more of. I think it's going to get cringy. Dude. I like I, really do. I like the angle that she has to. um, She has to represent abomination in his trial and abomination yeah. tried to kill Bruce 10 years ago when they were hulked out outside of Zanzibar in clearly Toronto pretending to be Harlem, <laughs> New York. Um, So besides for all the violence. Let's talk about the sex. Uh, so for the post credit scene of this first episode, I, there's a big mystery, I guess, that Jen has. Um, like She's did, just fucking with Bruce. Like, Did Captain America have sex? And, she, and he's always like, what was it, History Channel or whatever said whatever. And he's like, why are you always he's, talking he's about like, my he's friend like a, he's and like colleague? He's like, a lady never tells, basically. Yeah, it's a like lady never response. tells. <laughs> So they get hammered, and she he she shouts out that there was no way that that ass died a virgin, and apparently Dude, that was the funniest part. Like Bruce was like, like Steve Rogers, that ass, America's ass. No way he's a virgin. He died, or he didn't, or there's no way he died a virgin, or he retired a virgin. I don't know. It's kind of ambiguous if he's dead or not. It was just like there's no way he's a virgin. We yeah. that's what they're kind of going with. And he said. Steve Rogers lost his virginity in 1943 on the USO tour. And that was like, yeah. And then that that's explained why I was going through Twitter. And like they posted pictures because Natalie Dormer was in the first Captain America. She's the one that kisses him. Yeah. And they were yep. like, I bet it was her. <laughs> Dude, that I bet was, it was you, her. You sent, me like, you sent me like four tweets back to back. And they were all about like, Captain America fucking essentially. Yeah, and, even, and I'm like, what is going on? Even in Chris, right? like, even Chris Evans was, was he shared a tweet of like just of a bunch of emojis of him laughing, like yeah. Is it? I mean, it's hilarious, and I'm glad that Marvel and Disney were like, let's get a little loose. Like, uh, yeah, I'm surprised. They, listen, like, we all the, know that Tony fucks, we or has. Oh, I yeah. mean, he fucks in the first one. Remember, he bangs that um. Dude, he definitely hires prostitutes. Like that's yes, for, for sure. sure. He had been with multiple prostitutes up to that point. And not prostitutes, escorts, escorts. Women of the night. Women of the night. <laughs> Ladies of the night. Um, <laughs> um, uh, I'm trying to think. Pretty much everyone else fucks. You know what I mean? So they're like, but Cap would probably be the one that didn't. And despite the fact that women were constantly throwing themselves, I'm glad. I'm glad. You know. I like that they were like, like before America, he got in the army. Fuck. Yeah, Captain yeah. America fucks, and then cut it. Yeah. I also like that before, like when he's, she's like, he definitely didn't fuck before in the army because he was just like a little scrawny little kid. <laughs> she's like, no <laughs> one would want to touch him here. <laughs> Not gonna happen. No they're just, way. They're taking shots. I liked it. I thought it was funny, and like that's the kind of thing I like. Like that's where it feels fun and self-referential in a good way. Yeah. I hope they do more of that. I don't know if they will. Yeah. <laughs> it's yet to be seen. It's yet to be yep. seen. But uh okay. I think we're good. I think we've covered it all. Um anything else? So this is coming out this is coming out weekly, right? Thursdays for the next five weeks. Thursdays for the next five weeks, so Yeah. So I right mean, through the end of summer, straight into straight, straight up the ass of fall. What a what a great way to coast coast right into September. I know. I know. It'll be yeah, a good time. I think we got it. All right. Dope. Thanks, everyone. We'll, um, I think there might be something connected to this. We'll see. Maybe. I don't know. 
If not, this is just going out, out as it is. So, all right, everyone. Bye-bye.